Hello, welcome to the account solutions. This is our bank analysis template. This template um, is used to analyze bank statements given to you. We have a video that um, is detailed enough to explain everything you need to know about the bank statement analysis. So before you use this to ensure you have your chart of account set up here, we have a default chart of account for you to use where you can change them or you use them. This is um, this is set of account names, set the posting codes, and you can use them. We have a video that explains this in detail. Now we have the template itself. Ensure you have a clean up data. If you want to know how to clean up your data, check the link below for the full video that explains how to clean up the data. And if you buy this template, we have a free template that will enable you to clean up data from your bank statement. You need your bank statement in Excel format. When you have them, you copy from the cleanup data and you paste inside here the date, the bank, if you have multiple banks, the ref, details, type, either pay in or pay out, then the amount in the bank statement currency, choose your currency, and then you start posting. So I'm going to start posting them, posting now. But before then, let's set up our bank. Um, our years we are doing for 2021, 2022, and 2023. Here is not too important. You can just put the year end 31st December 2021. Then come to the bank, we have our FBN, we have our GTB. The account number for FBN is 123456 We have all this set up now. So you go and copy your bank statement that you've cleaned up. And in this uh, format, look at the heading and copy and paste inside here. So I've copied from my bank statement, to cleaned up data and I've populated the date. There's no ref in the bank statement, details, pay in. If you want to learn how to get this uh, pay in and pay out column, check the link below for the full video tutorial on this template. We have explained everything there. Now, one more thing. You have to select the currency. So all, I have two bank accounts here and they're all in Naira. So you have to arrange them in a way that you can select Naira for all of them. Just copy and bring them down. Once you do that, it will give you the equivalent. We assume that you might have some USD bank statement. If you choose USD, it will, you have to put the exchange rates here. Again, check the link below for the full video on how this is being done. Okay, so I'm going to bring out my bank statement so we have two bank accounts here you can arrange this thing on under excel sheet arrange the um bank codes this bank code here you know use this template to generate a bank code so you can arrange them in a way that i can just copy and paste them so i'll just go and copy my bank code and paste here so i've populated all my bank um Goods you can see I have first bank all the way. If you check this filter, you have first bank and GTB, the right? two banks um, that I have in my business. And I can just get the exchange rate. If you want to paste, right click and paste values only. Please always use values only for these templates. You want to paste, don't paste here. Use this one, very important. So I have my figures. If you want to filter, I can filter my bank, I can check all my first bank transactions, from my bank statement. I have pay in and pay out. I have all the years. I can filter my GTB. GTB, I have pay in and pay out. And I have all the years, the three years. So this is how you populate this. Once you've done this, check your control. You have two controls here. So you can see this control shows first bank and GTB, cash in, cash out and balance. You must type in the opening balance here. So since you are doing a three years, um, you are doing a three years analysis, type the opening balance of the first year and closing of the last year. Opening of the first year, closing of the last year. So my first bank opening for the first year is 179. 
six eight four. Go to the bank statement and get this data. This is information. Closing balance for first bank for the last year forty two six four two one one point three five. You can see I have a 10,000 hour difference. I'm trying to investigate. It means that something is wrong with my analysis. I've not captured everything or I made a mistake in the figure. So go back and investigate. So my GTB um, balance, opening balance for the first year. So GTB balance for the opening balance for the first year, 320.986.98. For the third day I'm analyzing is eleven zero three four zero six two point five five for my bank statement. So this is fine. I'll go to the um years um control for the years. I'm going to add up all the opening balances of the two banks for each of the opening opening balances and the closing. Add up all the closing balances for the two banks. So add GTB plus first bank opening balance for 2021, 2023. So for 21, the opening balance is for the three for the two banks at 570.98. Um for 2022, I have 16712893.46 for the whole bank. 2023, I have 36, 735. 701.85 for closing for the whole bank 2021. I have 16 712 893.46 for 22. I have 36 735 701.85. Oh, this is where that 10,000 naira first bank issue is. It's in 2022 that that issue is there from. Then the last year, the three banks combined, two banks combined, 51, 3082273.91. That issue is showing up in the, the you need to correct that issue in 2022. Put your analysis and correct it. Once you've done, you have analyzed your, uh, you have done your control. The control enables you to know if you've captured correctly all your data from your bank statement. Once you are done, you can start posting. So to post, you need to have your chart of account handy, and then you print it out or keep it side by side. If you want to know how to keep it side by side, the link below, we have a detailed video that explains how to do that. So I'll just start posting my own. I already have them listed out. I'm going to copy them and I'll paste them here. Or just start typing, if this is for asset, um, let's say, one, this is 50, this is 34. It's posting to the GL straight once you type the code. So all you need to do, once you've put, pasted your bank statement into this template, all you have to do to, to analyze them into different GL accounts is just to put in the posting codes. Once you do that, you are fine. You can see everything is posting to the GL code. So I'm going to post everything. And I'll show you how the report is generated. So I've posted all my GA codes into my bank analysis templates. So you can see, if I filter here, account name, you see all the GL accounts are here. Now to see what you've done, go to the summary. Summary will show you all your years. Summary of all the GL accounts you've posted. You can see everything. Just copy and use in your trial balance and do your work, you know? Everything you need to analyze, all the GL accounts, have their figures populated once you post these codes into this analysis template. So that's it. That is how you use this template. Uh, the link for this template is below. Click on the link and get this template and reduce the stress you take to analyze the bank statement for your clients and for your businesses. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and share this video. Thank you and bye.